what you've done for the game of golf is completely unparalleled. You were the perfect person at the perfect time with television, national television, to begin broadcasting tournaments, to be the one that everyone could latch onto and love, and people followed you and adored you, and you had Arnie's army. What was it like when you would turn around and see that sea of people walking behind you down the fairway? Well, of course, it was, it was great fun, and, and it was exciting to see so many people and the enthusiastic uh, people that they were uh, was very exciting and uh, I, I enjoyed that and, and you know I felt like I knew all those people. They were people that I've been seeing for a lot of years. Do you think that there's any player on the PGA Tour today that reminds you of yourself playing the Masters? Oh I don't know. I've, people have said that Phil Mickelson is is a lot like I am on, on the golf course, uh, but he's a great guy and I could consider that a compliment because he has played very well and he has won the Masters, so, you know, I'd give him another chance, uh, even though he's getting into the mid-40s, it's, it's going to be tougher from now on and I know how that is because I was there. Tonight, somebody is going to be going to bed as the leader or the co-leader. In your first Masters win in 1958, you were the co-leader heading into the final round along with Sam Snead. How did you sleep on Saturday night? Well, uh, one thing, and, and I'm fortunate in that I never really had much trouble sleeping. I, I can, <laughs> I can uh, get that sleep in pretty good. Of course, you're a multiple Masters winner. Was putting on that green jacket and winning the Masters every time just as special as the first? It's always special to put that jacket on or have Jack Nicholas put it on me. I like that most of all. <laughs> uh, but uh, that was fun, and, uh, and it's fun, and I think anybody that is, has the opportunity to win and have that green jacket slipped on them should be thankful and enjoy it.